This Nick Fury variant signed by Samuel L. Jackson is the login reward for the 25th of December. I built five decks across all pools to utilize Samuel L. Jackson Nick Fury card the best you can. He's five energy, seven stats. For five energy, we want to be getting around 10 stats. We want around two points per energy. So we do have quite a lot of points to be making up uh, in his ability. So his ability is adding three six cost cards to your hand. This is going to give you a lot of flexibility, a lot of surprise value on your last turn. You might find like a card like Doctor Doom or an Arnim Zola, which can just win you the game out of nowhere. However, he definitely is a little bit lacking in points, and we're going to want some some synergies to help him be a little bit better. Okay, let's look at the first deck. We have a pool one deck we're going to start off with. Um, Di Devil Dinosaur is going to be a common theme throughout all of these decks, of course. The more cards you have in hand, the more points it plays for. America Chavez also going to be in every single one of these decks. Often with Nick Fury, you play him on turn five, you're going to fill your hand up, which means you don't draw a card on turn six. So by playing Chavez, we have essentially 11 card decks instead of 12. Moon Girl, White Queen, Sentinel, all cards, which are staples in Devil Dinosaur. Cosmo. Cosmo has been getting far more popular on the ladder recently at the top ranks, and it's perfect in this deck. You can play Cosmo into the same lane as your Devil Dinosaur. That's going to prevent cards like Shang-Chi, Enchantress, Rogue from stealing your Devil Dinosaur's power and stealing eight cubes from you on that final turn. So this is the pool one version. Let's now look at what it's looking like in pool two. You can see a couple new additions. The Collector, of course, being a key one. He's going to be gaining a point for every time we add a card into our hand, which isn't from our deck. So if you've got a Collector on the board and you play Nick Fury, suddenly that's three extra points of tempo. And you can start to see there where Nick Fury is starting to be playing for a few more points than he otherwise would without the Collector synergy. We've got Agent 13, Iceman. Iceman. Just a nice little value card in there and the rest of the deck is very very similar moving on where things start to get a little bit more exciting we're going to look at the key pull three cards with nick fury quinjet is amazing with nick fury it's a one energy two stack card with an ongoing ability where cards that didn't start in your deck cost one less what this means is nick fury's cards are suddenly costing us five instead of six now it's pretty difficult to play nick fury early but if you can find ways of playing nick fury on turn four with a Quinjet down on the board, that means that we're going to be able to play one of Nick Fury's six cost cards on turn five and another on turn six. So that can be a really nice combo to look out for. Another card is Arnim Zola, not particularly for its synergy with Nick Fury, but moreover for its synergy with Devil Dinosaur. You can play your Arnim Zola onto your Devil Dinosaur and then you get uh, no longer a Devil Dinosaur in the lane your opponent expects, but a Devil Dinosaur in the other two locations. And of course, Nick Fury can also cre create you in Arnim Zola as well, which can be a really nice option to have. Here is the Zola Dino deck. This is a pull three deck. Quinjet makes the cut, as does the Arnim Zola. A lot of the other cards very similar to the other builds as well. All right, up next we have uh, Agent Coulson. This is a pull four card. There's also Maria Hill, who is not making any of the cuts. She's a pull four card, which has some synergy with Devil Dinosaur. She's bad. This card, however, I don't have it, but looks very, very good indeed. I've heard great things. Three energy, four stats. On reveal, add a random four cost and five cost card to your hand. So you could actually get Nick Fury with Agent Coulson as well. Got collector synergy, and it just gives you a lot of flexibility. You might get something like a Shang-Chi or an Enchantress, uh, which can be very, very interesting indeed. Um, and this is a pull four version of Nick Fury without the Heli Carrier, which is the final and my favorite list that we're going to look at. Um, very, very similar. Again, Cable still making the cut in these ones. Uh, Agent Coulson just, just slotting in quite nicely. As you can see, not a huge improvement going from pool three to pool four. Very, very minor improvements. Quinjet kind of being the main pool three card that is going to be helping you out. Like the pool two version of this deck is definitely very, very strong indeed. And finally, last but certainly not least, my favorite version of Nick Fury is with Heli Carrier. This is a series four card, six energy, 10 stats. When you discard this from your hand, add three random cards to your hand. So going to be a very different looking build because we want to add some discard cards to our deck of course of course heli carrier also having some synergy with um collector it's going to be plus three points on collector if your hand is you know not full enough the way you actually have space for three cards which often when you're discarding you will uh also nick fury can create the heli carrier kind of interesting uh the card we're going to be mainly comboing heli carrier with is lady sif who is discarding the top card the top cost card from our deck 
uh, from our hand, which is going to be Helicarry often. And then um, on turn four, we're going to be able to play Ghost Rider to bring back the discarded Helicarry. So we're going to get three random cards in our hand, which obviously we might be able to play those. It's going to be good for our Dino, good for our Collector. And then Ghost Rider on turn number four is going to be playing for 13 points for four energy by bringing the heli carrier back to its location now in this deck if you don't have the heli carrier in hand uh your top discard targets with the lady sif are going to be nick fury and devil dinosaur so something interesting you can do in this deck as i kind of alluded to earlier if you have the quinjet down on one then uh, on four you ghost rider your discarded nick fury that means you're going to have uh, three six cost random six cost cards in your hand from turn five and turn six and of course they didn't start in your deck so quinjet's going to be making them cost five which means you can play a five co a six cost card on turn five and a six cost card on turn six as well so nick fury has some nice synergy in this one as well this is my favorite way of playing Nick Fury. I don't have Agent Coulson myself. I've been playing Cable in this deck instead of him, but I've had a lot of success with this list, uh, climbing many, many cubes, and I think it's a really top deck. So this is the best version of Nick Fury, but honestly, I would not be surprised if this is now the strongest pull two deck. Of course, Nick Fury is pull three, but if you logged in on Christmas Day, you're going to have the variant version of him despite not even reaching pool three so i definitely think you guys should be checking out nick fury um giving him a try let me know what you guys think of the decks i will also add uh mystique didn't make any of these lists uh but she is a serious serious consideration you can play double dinosaur on five and then mystique on turn number six comboing with another card to get another dinosaur um of course you're not going to have the three points on it but it's a lot cheaper so mystique is definitely a card which you should consider playing and i think i'm also going to give mystique a bit of a chance in these decks myself but i decided not to put her in but she is the main card which i do feel like i've maybe done a bit of a disservice by not including her in any of the lists so i did just want to point that out if you guys enjoyed the start of video please do let me know in the comments below like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more marvel snap content if you also would like to see some gameplay of the heli carrier nick fury deck or any of these nick fury decks at all do let me know see you on the next video deuces